What's going on? It's TJX6. This is my top five Black Air Force One activities. I'm with the fader. If the government want me to do a job for them, give me some couple million, some tech shit. Number five, the weed switch. Basically, you order some packs offline, like some rust packs. You buy some regular weed from your man's in the hood, and then the weed packs that you get, that you order, you put the weed in there, and then you sell it. For example, it's some weed called Blueberry Cruffin. You gotta buy some regular weed with like the little blue shit inside of the weed. Cause if you put some OG in a blueberry cruffin patch, some when they about to smell it, they gonna open it and know that's not that. So you gotta actually put some relate like the similar weed in the pack to sell it to the person. Everybody know this, so it's not exposing, you feel me? Number four is identity theft. I can be you. You know what I mean? I can go use your information. I used to have this printer, it's a 3D printer. Like I can print IDs and it would come like it would come laminated and all that. Like even though IDs aren't laminated, it would come like like it would come thick. The new IDs got the uh, hologram shit. Like when you move it, you can see the hologram for one and for two. When you print it a certain way, the shit will be centered. Like the information will go be centered on the ID perfectly. But if you fuck up, you don't really know what you're doing. That shit go look a little cricket. You know what I mean? So so that you can duplicate IDs, you can duplicate uh, date of birth, just everything. It's just identity theft. Number three is re-rock scam, callback scam. That's where the uh, identity th uh, theft shit come into. Cause you can get that person's information and you can know when that person keeps getting paid, like every paycheck and shit. You can't send the money from yourself from the bank account, but you can log in and see that he just got paid. So you call that nigga, like, you got $1,900 and 47 cent in your account. If you don't send this, the IRS will tarnish every account you own. You know what I mean? So they send that shit. It's not no if, ands, or buts, nigga, he's gonna send the cash. Like. <laughs> Number two is fake emails. It's like a copy and paste script. So you send it to somebody who's not verified and you say, this is the link you have to click and log into to get verified. These are the steps, blah, blah, blah. So when they log, when they click that link, nothing happens. It's like a, just a white screen. This, uh, this link is not available. They refresh it. That's where they fucked up. It's going to Instagram comes up or whatever, whatever I'm trying to get like their login to. They type in because they think it's just regular Instagram, but the whole time it's just like a, it's a fake Instagram. Like it looks like Instagram, but it's not Instagram, bro. So when they type in the information, the information literally comes to my phone. And Instagram is a way to promote yourself. It's this one bad model, her name. I used to have access to her account and then I used to be promoting myself and shit. Number one is Instagram scammer. Yeah. Damn there, anybody who watched this has got that DM before. Do you want to buy some sneakers? It's just, you post, make a fake Instagram, you post, I got sneakers, I got iPhones, everything. And then you buy a shout out from somebody famous, like I said, for example, I would go on that page and shout myself out. And then followers would come, I'd probably get like 500 to 1,000 because their page not really that big. And then they would DM me, say which items they want, give them a set price. There it go, scam. You ain't not getting nothing ever. Yeah, I used to do like Jordans and shit. At one time, it was this shoe called the Cherry Jor a Jordan Cherry 11, like low. You remember when them came out? Everybody wanted to buy them from me, bro. Like those were selling crazy. Then uh, iPhones, of course, go sell. Uh, MacBooks, Apple Watches, just everything. 